Hey guys, what's going on? James here back with GetOnStream.com and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use any iPhone as your webcam for streaming, whether that be on Twitch, YouTube, whatever platform it is. Obviously, not everyone wants to go out there and invest in maybe a DSLR or even a webcam. They can get pretty pricey too, up to probably $100 for a reasonably good one. Well, if you have a webcam in your pocket, maybe you have a few iPhones just lying around the house with cracked screens like I do, then you could use them as your webcam without having to invest any money. So I'm gonna break it down step by step how you can use your iPhone as your streaming camera for 100% free. You don't have to buy any apps or anything like that. So let's go ahead, jump into the video. If you enjoy the content, please do give it a big thumbs up. It helps out the channel an absolute ton. Hit subscribe if you're new here. And if you do wanna see a written version of this tutorial, go ahead, check out the link down below in the description. So the first thing that we need to do is download both an app on our phone right here and then also download an app on our computer so that the phone and the computer can sync up and you can send your video from your phone to the computer. And this is gonna happen over Wi-Fi, so you need to make sure that both devices are connected to the same Wi-Fi network. So the app that we're gonna be using is actually from Elgato. It's a trustworthy source. Obviously Elgato is a huge gaming company, but there's a lot of other kind of sketchier apps out there that I don't know if I would trust. So that's why I like to use Elgato. So that's why I like to use Elgato. So what you want to do is come over to Elgato's website here and I'll put the link down below and you want to download this app called Epoch Cam. However, whenever you click here, it's going to send you to a paid version of the app. What you actually want to do is come over on your phone and search for the app in the app store. So when you search on the app store, you'll actually be able to see the paid version, which is $7.99. And then there's also a free version here for free Epoch webcam for Mac. And this does have limited features compared to the full version. However, if you just want to use your webcam as an overlay when you're gaming, then this will be 100% fine. So, so I'm just gonna go ahead, re-download the app here so that we can go through the setup and show you exactly how to get this connected and put the camera into your OBS. So once you've downloaded the app on the App Store, you'll also have to scroll down right here and download and install the computer driver. So select whatever you're on. I'm on Windows right now, so I'm gonna select Windows right here. And then we wanna come down and just download this Epoch cam driver so once you download this you literally just come down here click keep and then double click and that will install this driver on your computer you won't see an app or anything this is just a driver so I'm gonna go ahead click next here agree to these terms of service and just install it on my PC this driver is just gonna allow your phone to connect to your computer that is it and there's no app in between we don't need an app to configure anything so now we want to go ahead and open up epoch cam on our phone it's gonna take us through the setup screens right here we just want to go ahead select all of these uh, go to next, we should have downloaded all of that stuff already, get connected, and then we want to allow these permissions right here, allow it access to your network and your camera, then click done. Once you've done that, you will now see on your phone, you can see right here, you'll probably be able to see me on the camera, you can see my hand right there, you'll now see the camera pop up on your phone. So we want to connect this camera to our Streamlabs. So I'm going to open up Streamlabs right here. You guys are probably going to be using Streamlabs if you're gaming. If you're using just standard OBS, I will leave the written tutorial to that down below because I'm actually using OBS to record this video right now. So I can't open both of them and show you, but it's fairly similar to Streamlabs. So in Streamlabs right here, we want to go to sources. We want to go to add. We want to go to video capture device add source and I'm going to go to add a new source right here and I'm going to call this epoch cam and we should be able to see that then whenever we come in here so I've got a couple of different sources click and drop down just click epoch cam camera right here and you can see you can now see my camera and my hand my desk and all of that stuff right here so I'm just going to click done and you'll see this is exactly what we get inside our Streamlabs. So the quality is actually pretty good. I'll turn it around so you can see it kind of maybe side by side with my camera. I'll do that in the editing. But the quality of this is comparable, if not better, to a webcam. I think a lot of webcams out there, you know, I'm using on an iPhone 11 right here. So this is, you know, probably better than most kind of webcams out there. I have the Logitech C920 as well. And there's a comparison on the written article off them looks. But now we have our camera connected to our computer. The only downside right here is that whenever we're using our phone as the camera, here on Streamlabs, we will see this Elgato logo. That is a watermark that they've put there as this is the free version. However, if you're just going out there and you want to use this camera as your kind of stream overlay as a small camera in the corner, what I would recommend doing is coming in here, right clicking on this, clicking transform, edit transform, and then bringing the bottom up 
about 120 pixels and that's going to cut off that logo and then if we move in from the left about 20 pixels or so we're going to get a nice like 16 by 9 frame right here maybe move this in 30 click done uh, and then i'll probably want to angle my camera down a little bit so that you can see me a little bit better right here and now we have a nice little camera overlay that we can use just using our phone which is absolutely huge and it looks amazing on the camera right here you can see i'm talking you're probably seeing my real camera up here as well it's not lagging at all it's very good quality it's you know there's no latency between me and the camera occasionally you might get a little bit of lag if there's a lot of stuff going on in your frame but generally that's not the case on your kind of main camera here when you're streaming games so let me go ahead and show you what this looks like overlaid on a game so as you can see i now have this overlaid on call of duty modern warfare and it looks pretty damn good however we can go ahead spice this up a little bit by adding in a stream overlay so let's go ahead and show you what that will look like when you add a stream overlay over your camera so i'm going to go into my main scene here that i use when i'm streaming you can see i've got my little box down here and i actually get these overlays from owned.tv i'll leave a link to them down below if you want to get some of them they do some really amazing uh, kind of stream overlays so what we want to do is come down here again to our ad source i'm going to add a brand new video capture device uh, and that's actually going to be i believe video capture device epoch down here add that source and then again we're going to crop this inside our box to make it look really really good so i'm just going to drop that there i'm then going to drop that down below my stream overlay so that it goes behind the stream overlay and once we've done that we just want to come in here again do the transform on it pull that bottom up uh, by about 120 pixels and that should leave us nicely inside that border now we have a really good looking stream it looks pretty comparable actually to my dslr it actually looks maybe a little bit better the colors are a lot brighter uh, so i maybe need to go in and fix some of the colors on my dslr but it looks really really good right here i really like the image quality that we're getting and it's that easy to set up that is all that you have to do and it looks great you're going to save yourself 100 to 200 dollars by not purchasing a webcam and just using the phone that you've already got lying around your house or the phone that you use every single day so i think this looks really really good right here hopefully this gets you guys streaming on a much cheaper budget without having to go out there and spend a ton of money on gear if you like the video please hit that like button hit subscribe if you're new here and make sure to check out getonstream.com for more streaming tutorials down below in the description